Okay. Michael here at ArcadeMonitor.com. And we're going to be working on this Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2 Arcade Monitor today. It's got a little... <clears throat> dance, dance, There's a problem with it. It's got like a kind of a weird interference going through the tube. I'm thinking this is from caused by the flyback transformer because it actually electrocuted me last week. So I got a new arc, a new flyback today, and we're gonna put that in right now. Okay, I got the game turned off. Now the first thing we want to do to get this monitor out of here is go in here and disconnect. EGA line. There it is. And I already unbolted it, so I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to pull the entire monitor out of this cabinet because it's the only way you can really work on this. This is a Wells Gardner 9200 or D9200. And inside the DDR machine, it's really crammed. So I'm going to take this out right now. See that? There. Okay, I got it out. Now we're gonna take this all apart and get that flyback out of there. And put a new one in. So I'll be back. Okay, the first thing we want to do is decharge the pitch tube. So go ground, stick a screwdriver right here, put that under there. Hear a pop? Yeah. Okay. Maybe no pop on this monitor because it has a little bit of charge thing. That worked. Take the chassis. Like that. Wires off. Disconnect all the wires from the pitcher tube. Disconnect the coil, the yoke. Yeah. Now the chassis is completely taken off. I got some tape on this one because I put it on backwards last week and didn't want to take it all apart. Today we're going to take out this flyback transformer and replace it with a new one. this transformer is because it electrocuted me last week. So I ordered a new transformer off of ArcadeCup.com and I just got it today. And we're going to remove this one which is going to be fun right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use my soldering gun right here. This works good. Got to set at 726 degrees. Might be too hot, but who cares? 
this on here. So just put this on here. We use a suction thing to like suck all the solder right off. Each one of the pins. Okay. Got the new flyback in place. There's a good close up of it, what it looks like. Now I just gotta solder all those pins to get this thing get this thing running. It's gonna be fun. Okay, I'll be back. Bye. Okay, just wanna let everybody know how to take this wire off of this thing. And the Wells Gardener monitor here. Just pop this little yellow thing up. And boom, that wire comes right out. Simple. Looks kind of tricky at first. Then you push it back down in. Take your next wire off your new flyback. And put it right down the hole. And it should click in place when it's locked in. There it goes. See that? You know? Okay. Now everybody knows how to do that. Very simple. No solder at all. Very cool. Okay. Okay. So, apparently, this was not a success. Because the weird little AC fizzy thing. Dance, dance, revolution! It's still there. Slightly. But it is still there. So, I just changed a flyback transformer, working one, with another working one. And this is what you get. The same problem. So, now i got to figure out what is causing that little AC signal. 